അനിശ്ചിതങ്ങൾക്കൊടുവിൽ ഗഗൻയാൻ ടി വി ഡി പരീക്ഷണ ദൗത്യം വൻ വിജയം ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക് ലോഞ്ച് സീക്വൻസിലെ തകരാറിനെ തുടർന്ന് മാറ്റിവെച്ച വിക്ഷേപണം പത്തുമണിയോടെയാണ് നടത്തിയത് മുൻ മെസ്സേജ് പ്രകാരം പതിനേഴ് കിലോമീറ്റർ ഉയരത്തിലെത്തിയ ശേഷം ക്രൂ മൊഡ്യൂൾ വേർപെട്ട് താഴേക്ക് ഇറങ്ങി തുടർന്ന് പാരഷൂട്ടുകളുടെ സഹായത്തോടെ ശ്രീഹരിക്കോട്ടയിൽ നിന്ന് പത്ത് കിലോമീറ്റർ അകലെ ബംഗാൾ ഉൾക്കടലിൽ പതിച്ചു എട്ട് മണിക്ക് നിശ്ചയിച്ചിരുന്ന വിക്ഷേപണം കാലാവസ്ഥ അടക്കമുള്ള പ്രശ്നങ്ങളെ തുടർന്ന് എട്ട് നാൽപ്പത്തഞ്ചിനാണ് നടത്താൻ ഇരുന്നത് എന്നാൽ വിക്ഷേപണത്തിന് അഞ്ച് സെക്കൻഡ് മുൻപാണ് ലിഫ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് നിയന്ത്രിക്കുന്ന കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ വിക്ഷേപണം നടത്താനുള്ള നിർദ്ദേശം നൽകിയത് തുടർന്ന് വിദഗ്ധ സംഘമെത്തി റോക്കറ്റും അനുബന്ധ സംവിധാനങ്ങളും പരിശോധിച്ച തകരാർ പരിഹരിച്ച ശേഷമാണ് വീണ്ടും വിക്ഷേപണത്തിനായി ശ്രമിച്ചത് അടിയന്തര സാഹചര്യമുണ്ടായാൽ സഞ്ചാരികളെ രക്ഷിക്കാനുള്ള സംവിധാനത്തിന്റെ കാര്യക്ഷമതയാണ് പരിശോധിക്കപ്പെട്ടത് വിക്ഷേപണം കഴിഞ്ഞ് ഒൻപത് പോയിന്റ് അൻപത് മിനിറ്റിനുള്ളിൽ ദൗത്യം പൂർത്തിയായി രാവിലെ പത്ത് മണിക്കാണ് ശ്രീഹരിക്കോട്ട സതീഷ് ധവാൻ സ്പേസ് സെന്ററിലെ ഒന്നാം വിക്ഷേപണ തറയിൽ നിന്ന് പരീക്ഷണ വാഹനമായ ക്രൂ മൊഡ്യൂൾ ക്രൂ എസ്കേപ്പ് സിസ്റ്റം എന്നിവയുമായി കുതിച്ചുയർന്നത് വിക്ഷേപണം നടത്തിയ ശേഷം ഭ്രമണപഥത്തിലെത്തുന്നതിന് മുൻപ് ദൗത്യം ഉപേക്ഷിക്കേണ്ടി വന്നാൽ ബഹിരാകാശ യാത്രികരെ സുരക്ഷിതമായി ഭൂമിയിലെത്തിക്കുന്നതിനുള്ള സംവിധാനങ്ങളുടെ കൃത്യത പരിശോധിക്കാനുള്ള ആദ്യ പരീക്ഷണമാണ് ഇത് വിക്ഷേപണ ശേഷം ഒന്ന് പോയിന്റ് ആറ് ആറ് സെക്കൻഡിൽ ഏകദേശം പതിനേഴ് കിലോമീറ്ററോളം ഉയരത്തിലെത്തിയ ക്രൂ മൊഡ്യൂൾ വിക്ഷേപണ വാഹനത്തിൽ നിന്ന് വേർപെട്ട് പാർച്ചൂട്ടിന്റെ സഹായത്തോടെ ബംഗാൾ ഉൾക്കടലിൽ സുരക്ഷിതമായി പതിച്ചു to announce the successful accomplishment of the TV D1 mission. The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a an abort condition for the crew escape system to function uh, it uh, took the crew escape system took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, subsequent operations of the crew module separation from the crew escape system all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this and uh, we will be further doing the uh, approach recovery operations of the crew module to be collected from the sea brought to the port by the ships that activity will continue to happen uh, till now based on the data everything has performed very nominally and perfect i will also like to tell the reason for why we had a hold uh, we initially wanted the launch to happen at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, but there was some weather related issues we have rescheduled the launch to 8:45 am but after going through the nominal lift off process there was a hold issued by the ground computer which is called the uh, automatic launch sequence computer which detected a sort of a uh, non conformance for allowing the engine to continue the thrusting to further go so this happened due to a monitoring anomaly in the system so we could identify it very very fast and correct it and uh, to make the stage ready it took some time to refill the gases and that once that has been completed we went through the proper automatic launch sequence which uh, checked the entire health of the vehicle and finally the mission computer and the ground checkout computer authorized the launch to take off which uh, released the rocket from the launch pad and subsequent activities of the flight as well as the post uh, termination about uh, sequence also got executed perfectly so i'm very happy that our team could understand uh, in case of any anomaly how to rectify, rectify and come back fast as fast and uh, congratulations to everybody uh, this is a big training for the entire team here to prepare for the gaganyan program i'm very happy that launch could take place today within the allocated launch window uh, and we will come back with more analysis and data of this submission uh, on recovery of the crew module which is happening now we are having uh, views from uh, coming from the sea from the drones cameras which are being taking them uh and before that before we get any further updates i would like to introduce the mission director sri h shiva kumar and the director of the crew module and crew escape system uh to you so over to shiva kumar
Thank you, Chairman Sro. All Center Directors, uh, Senior Members, MRR and FRR team, and all distinguished uh, guests. Uh, it's like no words are uh, <laughs> not coming up. Yeah. Sir, this is like, you know, uh, never before attempt. It's a bouquet of uh, three experiments put together. And we have now seen the fragrance and the, uh, the characteristics of all three systems with what we wanted to test through this experiment or this mission. The test vehicle, the crew escape system, the crew module, everything, I think we have uh, like, no, perfectly demonstrated in the very first attempt, but for the initial hitch, but that's nothing of a problem at all. All the systems performed well. I thank you for all the support provided by the entire uh, team of ISRO across all centers of uh, VSSC, LPAC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, HSFC, etc. Thank you all, sir. It was a like, you know, penance for us for the last three, four years, and then we have reached that D-Day today. And it was a very happy occasion that we could make it on the very first attempt. Thank you. Now, uh, Mr. R. Hutton, he is the uh, uh, mission executive for the crew module realization and also the mission director of the Gaganyan. Excellent. Hearty congratulations to all, my dear team ISRO and team India. As uh, mission director has already said, I'm not getting any words to appreciate the whole team. In fact, it's <laughs> As far as the Gaganyan program is concerned, this is the first major milestone. In fact, this is going to be a great motivator for all of us in the Gaganyan, cut across all the ISRO centers. And in this particular Gaganyan, the most important is the safety of the crew. And this, the safety of the crew that has been demonstrated in this excellent mission, the test vehicle mission, where we have simulated an abort and how the crew escape system carries the crew module away like a bird, like a, a bird is taking his chicken and then uh, to a safe place. You know, the Gaganian vehicle, though it is fully robust and reliable, but then we can't take anything to the chance. And therefore, if any malfunction happens, there has to be a system in the launch vehicle, which is called the crew escape, which will take the crew module away and safely take the crew module and then land. This is what exactly has been demonstrated today in this first mission of the test vehicle. So at this moment, I would like to thank and congratulate the test vehicle project team led by Mr. Shivakumar, the mission director, his vehicle director, Mr. Shivamurugan, and all associated members of the project, the centers, not only from Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, cut across all the ISRO centers who have contributed for this launch vehicle. It's a novel vehicle which had been derived from the liquid propulsion, the snap on stage of the GSW, but entirely it's a new architecture. And I also like to congratulate the escape, the escape what is made possible through the crew escape system, the team behind me, the led by Mr. Sunil, as well as Mr. Anand, yeah, and all the centers who have contributed, and the crew module. The crew module, in fact, the total Assembly integration has been done by the new center, Human Space Flight Center. The young team, which are in the 20s to 25s, that age group has totally done it. Of course, there are old seniors are also there who are young at heart, who are also guided them, not only from this Human Space Flight Center, but great support from VSSC and all other centers who have contributed many systems for the crew module. So I take this opportunity to congratulate all our teams at Human Space Flight Center and all the other centers of ISRO. And also, the final leg, we have seen how the parachute got deployed at. Yes, sir. So, I, I congratulate all the members who have participated in this mission, ADRD, as well as the DRDO agencies, as well as all the industries and uh, other agencies. So, let me thank once again and congr congratulations. Thank you very much.